continuing with the 39th Arab Health Conference and Exhibition, which concludes today the Dubai Health Authority has revealed the findings of the first national health account system, an international model which is used in developed economies to track spending in the health sector, which will be critical in the rollout of mandatory health insurance in Dubai, as well as the future of the Emirates health sector. The first annual national health account system in Dubai revealed findings that are crucial to Dubai's healthcare sector. In 2012, 10 billion dirhams was spent on healthcare, with Dubai spending 8.5 billion dirhams, while outside the Emirate registered a spending of 1.5 billion dirhams. Dr. Haider Al Yusuf, Director of Health Funding at DHA, says this gives them a better understanding of trends, the source of investment, and where money is being spent. We also see a lot of spending in hospitals, less spending in primary care and in clinics. And that's again a pattern that is slightly ex more expensive. Care can be more efficient in primary care settings. So in our design on how we want to change things, we want to see more spending on clinics and on primary care uh, and, and primary settings. Also, we see spending on prevention is a little bit small. We want to increase spending on prevention because that's the most efficient way of delivering care to people so that you pro and try and predict disease and reduce mortality, morbidity, and cost burden of disease by increasing uh, prevention. So that gives us a baseline to know where we are today before basically launching mandatory health insurance. A national health account is an annual uh, report that we'll be publishing every year and we track our progress against the first report every year in view of the implementation of mandatory health insurance. By mid of 2016, the entire population of Dubai is expected to be covered by health insurance compared to only 1.3 million people today. Dr. Yusuf says they are currently evaluating 49 insurance companies that applied for certification. DHA will announce in February those that passed the process and complied with the requirements. Still, we have close to 2 million people that are still not insured in Dubai. As these people get insured, that ensures basically the funding for facilities. So that is a fantastic place for investment. If investors are looking to come to Dubai, then that's what they need to do because there is basically a whole population that is getting covered with guaranteed funding. And, and that's why we need those quality players to come into the Emirate of Dubai and deliver quality services. The three-phase rollout of Dubai's health insurance scheme will see companies with more than a thousand employees complying by October this year. Those that have between 100 and 1,000 employees by July 2015, while SMEs, individuals and domestic workers will be given until mid of 2016. So we're giving chance for everyone to ramp up, whether it is an insurance service provider or a health service provider, to ramp up and build capacity. There is a lot of emphasis on primary care and the role of primary care physicians and family physicians. So we're really encouraging and supporting uh, expansion in that sector. Uh, and we believe that's a very efficient way of delivering care to people and we're working with the insurance companies so that there are good affordable packages for employers the balance that we want to achieve in providing this mandate is access to decent care for people balanced with no impact on the economy and making it affordable for employers so we are basically creating a win-win situation where people access health in an affordable way for the economy all these are crucial to the development of dubai's health sector according to his excellency engineer isa al maidur director general of dha in addition, is the infrastructure being built to support expected demand in years to come. Electronic medical record, which we are trying to establish, which will, you know, how to manage and to deliver the service will be fully automated uh, with the medical record of, uh, you know, each individual. Uh, we are going to have, uh, we will establish by 2016 a uh, few hospitals uh, and will go under construction. Uh, currently, we are busy with uh, designing some of them, like Al Maktoum Hospital and uh, Rashid Hospital. And these are like, you know, preparation for Expo 2020, where we expect a lot of guests to be coming, uh, visiting Dubai. With the continuous development in infrastructure and policies set in place, health officials say they aim to achieve a happy and healthy population, where investors are engaged and the weak, as well as the vulnerable, are protected. Khadija Sali, 7 National News.